Berlin. So it was this very typical structure, pretty normal. Black expanded on the queen side. Okay, white got the knight to g3, black restricted it with g6. White prepared f4 and eventually played it. But it appears that the effect of f4 was not as intense as white hoped it to be. And black got his rooks to the f file and just prepared f5. Actually, you know, this uh, down this position about move 2021, 20, it started to look like the Sicilian uh, Rossellino uh, with this yeah. bishop, bishop c6. It looks very, very similar, right? That's what I thought it was. I thought it was a Rosalima, but <laughs> amazingly, it was an anti-Berlin. So right. we remind everybody that in the Armageddon, white has to win a draw, is a win for black. So Anish has to win this position. He no longer has a time advantage either and almost certainly doesn't have an advantage on the board. I guess, does he have to take on f5 here? Unless he wants to play e5. No, e5 is impossible. There's a four, right? Ooh. Yep. Queen g3 instead. Okay, so you play queen g3, fe, rook f7, and bishop f4. So he's not hurrying to take the pawn on e4. Uh, that is weird. The bar says immediately it's not very good, but also, I mean, black is up a pawn for the moment. e3 very quickly. Wow. So the idea, of course, is rook e3, bishop d4 chops off the rook. So white, I guess, has to take with a bishop. Although maybe knight e4 would be in the spirit of how he's been playing. He's clearly <laughs> trying to not take this pawn for as long as possible. What about bishop e3, bishop e5? Can I try to trap the queen? Wow. Whoa. And the evil bar hated that move. Bishop b7. Oh. No, but Anish has lost the thread completely. Now bishop e3, simply bishop e4. Right. So bishop e7 played very quickly. And... Um... They are going to get an extra time, but it, I believe it's only after move 40, right? Extra one second, which probably is pretty much nothing. Right. And king h1, it looks like white's position is completely in the toilet now. What about bishop takes e4 and then bishop c3? Ooh. Bishop takes e4 apparently was a mistake. So the game is still alive. Rook takes on e3. The bishop going to go. That's a pin. I guess bishop takes on g2. Takes G2. Okay. But I don't see how white's going to win this. I mean, black yeah. is up upon the king is wide open. Just yeah. queen f5, for example. Yeah. Yeah, this this looks very, very good for Wesley. And uh, once again, for black, it's just good enough to win the match by making a draw. They're battling out for extra half a point because the winner of the Armageddon uh, gets one and a half points. The loser gets one point. And... Um, Right. Queen of five, queen d5, queen c6. Oh, he gave a check to play h5 later. I yep, guess that's yep. his idea. And he's mm -hmm. covering the e8 square, so there's no shenanigans with rookie eight. And now black can just chill. King h7, potentially bishop h6. You could play bishop h6 even immediately if you wanted. Mm -hmm. Now white's not winning this, and there's just no way. But of course, I mean, Anish has to continue to play uh, because, like you already mentioned before, there's no rating, and... Uh, loss for him is equaling uh, as a, uh, I mean, a draw is equaling the loss in the match, so he's going to try. Queen e1, so he's, I think, trying to go bishop g3 and then eventually go rook e6, for example. None of that looks even remotely dangerous for black. Mm -hmm. Queen can always come down to f3. Can I play something like Bishop of Eight? Well, that looks pretty solid. Bishop of Eight, Bishop B Six, or even Rookie Seven ideas. Uh, try to trade the rooks. Probably even the Bishop on D Six is just good enough. Also, it stops your Bishop G Three idea. I think. Right. I like Bishop F Eight a lot. No, if Black can trade the bishops, then it's then it's essentially all over. Um. Well, Wesley's thinking he has plenty of time. Three minutes twenty seconds. One minute to get on the clock, and it's on the board. And he goes for your idea, Bishop F8. Very strong move. Does White have any way to keep the bishops on the board? I don't think so. Rookie 8, obviously. Not possible because it drops the bishop. And King G1. Mm -hmm. So Bishop D6 is incoming. I think Bishop D6 can be played pretty quickly. Of course, Wesley will double check if he's not missing any mate threats. But there's always Queen D4 check. Right. So rookie eight check is, is a paper tiger just because of king g7. 
I think this game yeah, is there's over. No more checks. Yeah. No. So I mean, wow. big big boost for Black, of course, because he can finish the game in a draw. I mean, it would be a bit maybe more interesting if uh, White had the draws, right? <laughs> he would be right. struggling to hold this, but I mean, this is just not happening. Yeah, that would have been a lot more intrigue. Right. Ooh, he takes with a queen. I thought he would take with a pawn to cover the e5 square. Right. Because now rook e5 is a possibility, no? Go we'll go queen d4 check. There's still oh, the and check. rook f2. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about rook e5, queen d4? Nah, king h1, rook f1. Yeah. Um, what about queen e3, queen, queen g5? Can I do that? And maybe still keep the option to play rook e5 later because, you know, there's no more check on d4. Maybe enter a rook endgame. Um, Give us a check. Check instead. Okay. It's crazy the evil bar only gives 0. 0.2. Like, what? what is this, e this mythical equalizing line? <laughs> but now is it's it, 0. 0.7 it already. At least yeah. to me. Queen d4 no, is no, no, no. me. So what do you do? Go yeah, back? queen d4 is coming. There, there's no, there's just no ways to access Black's king. Black's king is perfectly safe because of queen d4 in response right. to any check along this diagonal. Yeah, and, and if you move the queen away from e1, then there's also queen g3. 30 seconds for Anish. I think this one's over. So move 40, yep. you get the one second increment. I think so. I'd move 40 to get plus one second, but uh, essentially just making another move so you could not really accumulate a lot of time because I think maybe in online tournaments like the title Tuesday, you can try to accumulate some time if you're very fast with the hands. I mean, over the board game, I think it's much more difficult. Yeah, over the board game, you need at least two second increment to accumulate any amount of time. One, one second increment is basically just to prevent losing on time. Right. Okay, so he traded queens, but you know what that means. <laughs> I mean, if, if White wins this. <laughs> Very convincing, actually, victory by Wesley. I mean, I think we can safely say that Black is going to win this. Uh, yeah, I think Gary's just going to re resign. Right. And resignation okay. is essentially the same. as a it, it shows his clock at zero, but I don't, I don't think he's actually lost on time. I think he might have offered a draw. Uh, we're about Actually, to... what would you do, Daniel? I mean, of course, the tournament situation uh, says the draw is good for you. It's a victory. But would you, let's say, play? I mean, let's say, perhaps not this position. It's not winning. But let's say you have something like two extra pawns. Mm -hmm. And your opponent offers a draw to salvage the rating points. And you know a draw is securing the victory. What would you do? So I'm up two pawns. And if I draw, I win the tournament. Right. Well... I'm probably, to be honest, I'm probably taking it. Like, right. I, I would like to say I'm someone who doesn't accept draws, but in situations where where I'm winning the tournament, you know, to me, that's the most important part is the is the, the sporting result. So there's still an element of chance, game. right? Possible, you know. Yeah, I mean, definitely. It, if you decline, I mean, maybe something happens, you flag or something, right? Yeah, although I remember... Uh, in the last round of uh, the Riga Open 2014, uh, it was the year before we played, I think, or two years before we played. I was playing uh, your your friend, I think, Igor Kovalenko in the last right. round. And I was struggling for like 50, 60 moves. And then he, he made a huge blunder and I punished him. And then I immediately offered to draw thinking, oh, I'm slightly better, but, uh, you know, but finally I'll secure, I'll secure the game and the tournament well. And the moment I offered to draw, like one one minute later, as he was thinking about it, I realized that I'm actually completely winning. And as in like plus six, like it's not, he can basically resign. And I wasn't even properly evaluating the position. I just thought that I had finally broken free. And, uh, you know, now I was offering a draw from a position of strength. So but obviously draw offer should be made carefully. What was that? Uh, let me guess, he agreed. He agreed. <laughs> Basically, he agreed. Yeah, <laughs> he was very happy. I imagine. Okay, so I th I think the game is over. Um, yeah, it is over. It should be over. There's no result okay. though. There's no result, but there are also no moves. So I think, yes, we are getting word that it is over. 
And Wesley So has defeated Ishiguri in the Armageddon for the second day in a row, coming in clutch in the Armageddon, securing a point and a half. And does it finally mean that Black is uh, finally scoring points? Because, I mean, in the first two rounds we're witnessing, I mean, quite unbelievable white streak that pretty much everybody who plays with the white color in Armageddon wins. I think it was something like five victories in a row. And finally, uh, yesterday, uh, this pattern was broken. And now it's, again, Black wins. Yeah, maybe we'll get a streak going the other way today. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Uh, well, I pulled up the... Atari MVL game 